Hey guys, so um, I know a lot of you guys have seen the canning video, but videos, but I wanted to kind of give you a tour of exactly where we keep everything, what we do, um, and what I use because there's a lot of things that are pretty awesome about canning and a lot of people don't know them. So here we go. Okay, so we built this uh, right after we actually bought the house is when we built this, so about 20... 16? Yeah, 2016. Um, we actually built a cold room. None of this was here. This was an old coal chute is what this was. Um, so the chute actually was back there, but this, as you can tell, was raised up. So what we did was we just kind of used the space, created an actual cold room. This was an addition this year. Two years ago? Two years ago. Um, this is Brandon's growing system. We'll talk about that later, you know, when we're actually using it, which is not right now. Um, but it is a fully insulated room. Um, heavy door, insulation in the door itself. The room actually does stay um, probably about 10 degrees colder than even the rest of the, out of the uh, downstairs when we remember to shut the door. But that's the key. <laughs> Um, but it does actually stay at consistent temperature, which is kind of awesome. Um, so come on in. All right, so Brandon built this. This was his brain, one of his branch brainchilds. Um, it's got storage for a lot of canned goods, as well as we store other things in here that are uh, as well. We have a plethora of jars. Um, some of these jars are actually older than me and Brandon. <laughs> um, they are jars that we have gotten from his, from people, from his grandparents, um, all sorts of places. So a lot of our smaller pint jars and our little, our little eight ounce jars we bought, but most of our quarts we didn't buy. So I mean, we've got old Kerr jars, wide mouth, lots of wide mouths. Um, we've got some pretty cool old ones. This is an older ball. So, everybody's like so all about the blue jars right now. This is actually an older blue jar. This is not one that we bought in the store. This was um, one that we've gotten. Well, here's a nice good one. Well, can you see that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Lots of really cool jars up here. That was one of my qualifications. This thing needed to be strong enough for me to climb on since I can't reach the top. Um, okay, so this is the beginning of canning season. So what you're seeing here is leftovers from uh, the past year or two, depending on what it is. Um, jams, some of the things I have labeled just to kind of keep my keep things organized a little bit. Um, it, depending on how the garden does is kind of how things spread. But we've got jalapeno jelly, um, so lots of blackberry jam because of our blackberries, obviously. Jalapeno jelly, um, obviously our jalapenos. Um, make chili base. Um, multiple kinds of salsa. I think we made, I made three or four different salsas this year or this past year. So chunky salsa, a couple different hop variations, um, tomato soup, spaghetti sauce. Like I said, lots of salsa. Uh, tomato paste. So we made two different varieties of tomato paste. This one is more of just a thick paste and this one actually is an oil paste. So it's got um, EVO in it. Peaches. We don't grow them, but we buy them. But I always put the peaches in the blue jars because it's fun. Um, we didn't actually make many spicy pickles last year, but we decided to make a lot of ketchup. So that kind of oozed over here. Yes, I have lots of space for pickles because that's kind of what I make most of. We already have, this is this year's, I already have, uh, I think 13, yeah, 13 jars of pickle, uh, pints of pickles already made for this year. 
Okay, so that, and then, I think, no, oh, and then the jalapeno pickle relish. That was a, hey, I'm, I had extra, so I made it this year. Okay, so what do I use? All sorts of good stuff. We just went and bought a bunch of, hi Gabe, how are you? Oh, go, thank you. Um, we just went and bought a bunch of new jars, so those are all stacked there. Last year, Brandon made this thing for me, and it is the coolest thing ever. I love this thing. It's got all of my lids. It's got room for all of my mixes. He made these little, whoops, little ring holders. Take that back up. I zoomed in too far. My ring holders. Um, and he actually made two different size ones. So there is the big rings too. So yeah, this definitely um, has made things a lot easier because I can just take this upstairs with me and I have everything that I need for the jars right here, which is awesome. Um, little jar grabber. We basically use this to get the doors in and out of the water when we can. Then I showed you guys this, but this, what this is, is this is something that we found. Did we find this at Royal King? Yeah, we found this at Royal King. Uh, it basically, you can put the, you can put all the lids in here so that you don't have to like go trying to fish out a lid because what's the hardest thing to do is if you don't have something that they stand up in, they get suctioned to the bottom and then you can never get them out of whatever you're sterilizing them in. So this is just a great way. It does 12, 12 lids at a time, which is awesome. Definitely one of those finds that has saved us. Okay. Move some things so we can see some stuff going on here. Alright. We bought this to use originally when we were canning. It kind of works. We're not a huge fan of it. I mean, it's a great thing if you if you don't want to spend a lot of money. It's a great thing to have, but it really goes kind of I was absolutely crazy so this was actually on our wedding registry and people thought I was nuts well guess what people it gets used like seven to twelve times every year thank you um, but yeah all it is is it's just it's a uh, 20 quart stock pot is all it is um, as you can tell it's been used a lot it actually is starting to lose its enamel. and last year for our anniversary Brandon bought me a second one. <laughs> this one is awesome. It's actually a ball stainless steel canner and um, stock pot. So I can use this not only as a canner, um, as you can see, it's got the, um, the basket in it, but I can actually use it to cook in as well, which is fabulous because most canners you can't do that with, but this one, because it's stainless steel, you can. And this is our other canner. This one, I don't think got pulled out at all last year. It did? No. Nope. Not often though. Uh, again, this is just a can, this is a straight canner. This is only used for canning. Granite ware. Hmm? Granite ware. Granite ware. And then this guy, Probably older than Brandon for me. This pot was um, from his grandmother. This is his grandmother's canner. Um, this one is actually the one that we pull out if we're just doing a little patch. I don't know why, but we always do. Um, probably for nostalgia reasons. So 
yeah, I have technically I have three canners. Our stove is not big enough to have all three canners going at once. We can do two at once, and we and when we get into tomatoes, we will be doing two at once because tomatoes take a really long time to can versus uh, pickles. Pickles they only have to be in the canner for 14 minutes once it boils. Um, tomato products for pints it's 40 minutes once it boils, so it's a really long time. Show them the two different baskets we got. Oh, the yeah. one we use for quarts and pints. Yeah. So this one is just a, is you don't want to use this one for pints. This one is just for quarts. So this one only comes out pretty much when we do salsa or spaghetti sauce. We do spaghetti sauce for quarts. So but that one's this one. This one I don't even know how old this thing is. Came with. It came with this one. Yep. I believe. Yeah. And then I pulled out the other one. There's, I like, I like these the best because there's no little dividers in them and you can do all sorts of different size uh, jars in them. I like these the best. You can do seven pints in them. You can do, I think I've, we've gotten 12 eight, yeah, eight ounce jars. Or five quarts. <laughs> see if I can get this guy out of the corner here. He's in the corner because we're not going to use him for a while still. Yeah, unless we decide to do a thing of jam here before too long. That's true. Okay. Okay. So this thing is like the coolest thing ever and I actually got this for Christmas a couple years ago and um, got it from my mother-in-law and I basically begged her to get it for me for Christmas. <laughs> um, yes, I'm one of those people. Um, but it is the Sauce Master. Here you go. That's what it is. Um, if you want to do any serious preserving, you need to have one of these. And, and I'm not saying that lightly. Like, this thing was a game changer for us. It not only, it basically made it so that we could up our production uh, and up, up the garden production, which upped our canning production. Um, but this thing is basically what did it for us. So, um, what's awesome about it is you have multiple screens, different size screens, depending on what you want to do. It comes with a berry screen, so this is a really, really thin one. Um, obviously, you use this for berries. You also can use this for, oh, do, do we use this for any tomato? Yeah, uh, soup. We use this for soup, but I think it's the only tomato product we use it for. Yeah, we like our paste to be a little chunkier. And yeah. Salsa screen is obviously for salsa. Um, pumpkin screen is kind of the in-between one. This one's good for, um, we use this one for paste. This one for sauce, but salsa is this one. Oh, this one we use uh, for ketchup too. But like uh, all of our jams, we use this guy. Um, but yeah, so we'll do a kind of a how to use video later because we aren't planning to use it anytime soon. But basically it comes with, you've obviously got your screen, the intro thing. Um, this is where it connects to the table, and then the auger goes in here, um, and then we keep all of our parts in a bag because they can get lost really easy because there's a lot of small parts. But yeah, no, this thing definitely is probably my favorite gadget that we have for canning. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, besides the buckets we use for harvesting. Yeah, which... Pretty much, if you have a five gallon bucket, there you go. <laughs> we use, well, we use these guys. You already saw these. We use these guys for smaller harvest, but we pull out the five gallon bucket when it's tomato time because, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. All the stuff that I use for canning, as well as our, as our uh, cold storage room. And if you guys have any questions about anything that we use or you want to know more, I'll put some links in the description for the things that we use. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.